Hello everyone, you're Royce here and welcome to our channel since video 101. So for this episode, we're going to feature another cultivar of the Trifichata species. And this cultivar is named as uh, Future Midnight. So folks, for everyone's uh, information, Future Midnight can be acquired through leaf propagating some of the other Trifichata cultivar that I am going to mention. And they are part of the dark green clone of uh, Trifichata. So if uh, you uh, folks have uh, one of these uh, Trifichata cultivar that belong to the dark green clone, then you will be able to acquire uh, Centiviria Trifichata Future Midnight by leaf propagating them. So uh, the uh, Centiviria Trifichata dark green clones that can produce Future Midnight are the following. Uh, you can get them from Centivir Trifichata Whitney. You can get them from Centivir Trifichata Cherie. And you can also get them from Centivir Trifichata uh, Midnight Shine. So if you have those three Trifichata cultivar, cultivars that are part of the uh, dark green clone of Trifichata, you leaf propagate them. And uh, there are cases that you will get a uh, green form. I'm not uh, saying that most of the time you will get uh, this uh, dark green uh, form or, or dark green clone of uh, Trifichata when you leaf propagate Shari, Midnight Shine, or Whitney. But most of the time you will be able to get a pure solid green pup that will result to uh, future Midnight. So, uh, just to give you some um, or a background of uh, Future Midnight, I can read through uh, what Chinayan mentioned when he published uh, this cultivar way back uh, 1986. And uh, I will uh, read through his findings or his observation, then I'll give my own. And uh, most probably, I will be agreeing with what he has published on uh, his book called The Centiviria Trifichata Varieties by Huan Chainayan. So this is how uh, he uh, mentioned it or uh, wrote it in the book. Uh, uh, this was published back uh, May uh, 20 sec, uh, 20 uh, or uh, 2002 of uh, May. So uh, this is what he said. This cultivar has the shape of the uh, Centiviria Trifichata future. That means it is uh, part of the uh, future group or the compact group. Uh, you can visit Centiviria Trifichata future. On the uh, previous episode, there the uh, Trifichata tri future is a green form, which is wide leaf, part of the wide leaf uh, variety, but they don't grow over two feet. So you can go back and check Trifichata future. You can uh, go back to the homepage of my channel, then just type in Trifichata future, then it will route you over to the uh, cultivar which I featured. Uh, previously, which is uh, Centiviria Trifichata uh, Future, or on this specific book, since this is not updated, he referred to it as Centiviria Trifichata Futura. So Futura means future and the updated list of uh, names of Trifichata. And uh, fo it, it follows here that it originated from a reversion of a plant that uh, we are going to see on the next issue that has yellow edges. So he was referring to the uh, Black Gold Superba, which is updated now to be Centivitra Fischetta Cherie. So that is just the same plant. The only difference is that Black Gold Superba or uh, Fischetta Cherie has very thick yellow lines in here, thicker than Midnight Shine. So if it's not as thick and as bright, uh, you can go back previous episodes to see what uh, Midnight Shine is. 
and if you leaf propagate midnight shine it will revert to or it will give you some offset which are going to be or which is going to be uh centibrito fichetta future midnight so going back to what he said uh it originated from the reversion of a plant we are going to see on the next issue that has yellow edges he was talking about cherry or black gold superba and uh might be he might be also talking about midnight shine so the leaves are thin as those of futura uh, that's future now updated and they're total, totally green in color rarely shows any cross banding and if ever the cross bandings would be at the back part provided that the plant is grown in very uh, strong light so uh, if you are growing a future midnight in uh, indirect sunlight you wouldn't be able to find any bandings on the back portion of it so this is how the uh, front portion of the leaf looks like you cannot see any bindings on it it is glossy and it is solid green in color so let's go back uh, I'm going to back up a bit if you can see this is uh, what he talked about that you will be barely you will be able to barely see bandings on it and if you do it should be grown in intense lighting so this is uh, grown in uh, uh, abundant sunlight and also this uh, offset right here is a juvenile offset so in juvenile offset you will be able to find uh, you can barely be able to see these uh, so-called uh, minimal bandings on them only at the back part but not on the front part of the leaf which uh, further uh, strengthens the difference that we are going to again bring up between this other plant called uh, the uh, black diamond so black diamond you can see that there are some bandings and they're not glossy they're dull green in color and they are not glossy and solid green like uh, future midnight midnight shine sherry or uh, Whitney so that is uh, one of uh, what China Yen mentioned regarding the characteristics of uh, future midnight the bandings can be barely see be seen and it will appear only at the back part of the uh, leaf and uh, it has to be grown in intense lighting so uh, and then going back uh, let's just finish what he mentioned on this book it is found in uh, page 3 of his book, The Centiviria Trifasciata Varieties. And uh, let me just finish what is written on this book. So usually it grows 2 to 3 leaves, but some grow, uh, growth can reach as many as 6, six leaves. So uh, 1 to 2 leaves, I think that would be juvenile form. So 1, 2, 3 but uh, for matured ones, they can uh, have uh, um, uh, about five to six leaves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven uh, leaves on my specimen. So there you go. So going back, uh, let's see what else uh, Jay Nine wrote on this book. The leaves are smooth and somewhat glossy. So we have confirm already confirmed that. The green color darkens with age, giving this plant attractive, uh, attractive correct, uh, cor character, character, and uh, a leaf cutting will produce true to type, uh, type offset. So he was saying that if you leaf propagate uh, Centivirtor Fischetta Future Midnight, you would still get offsets which are true to leaf. So you will not be getting the green form anymore if you leaf propagate it, uh, leaf propagate Future Midnight because uh, from uh, my experience they are already uh, devoid of the other characteristics of trifasciatas uh, namely the lighter bandings or the other markings so they are uh, the pure dark green clones 
if you again leaf propagate them because they're already leaf propagated if you leaf propagate them again they would not uh, revert because they are already pure of state and it will give you a true to leaf uh, offset when you leaf propagate future midnight so uh, they are devoid of any other characteristics of trifasciatas namely lighter bandings and everything else uh, variegations they don't have it so uh, future midnight is already a result of her leaf propagation of uh, Whitney Sherry or midnight shine so again if you redo the leaf propagating you'd still have the same offset which is just the purest dark green clone and no more uh, ordinary or base form of uh, or green form of trifasciata that you will uh, come up when you uh, leaf propagate other cultivars of uh, Sansevieria uh, trifasciata. Same can be said for the pure uh, pale green clones like uh, the pure platinum or silver. When you uh, leaf propagate them, they're already pure pale. So when you leaf propagate them again, uh, there's no reversion. You will just have the same offset as what you have planted when you leaf propagate them. So uh, uh, going back again, I think uh, we're almost done reading through what he wrote on the, the, his book. So uh, a leaf cutting will produce true to type offset. Uh, we have discussed that and that is true. Uh, this uh, last statement or last sentence here is this plant is easy to grow as the entirely green leaves have more chlorophyll content con uh, than the ones that have cross bandings on it all right so uh, I guess what he's trying to say is that uh, it has so much chlorophyll that uh, minimal lightning is needed for it to produce uh, food for itself which is I agree because folks for dark green clones if you subject them to intense sunlight they will burn they will burn because there's too much chlorophyll on them they don't uh, really need that much of the sunlight to produce their own food so in my experience in most cases dark green uh, uh, dark green forms would easily uh, burn in direct sunlight as compared to pale green clones so I guess that's it for the history and the characteristics of future midnight uh, I guess what we need to do next is uh, just take measurements before we end this uh, video. So without further ado, uh, let me get my trusty uh, tool here. Uh, they are set it to zero and we'll measure the, the largest leaf width that we can find. It's kind of hard on that side, so we'll choose to measure this leaf here. Alright folks, so there you go. So the measure of this leaf, uh, it is 67.7 uh, in millimeter. Uh, that's the widest one that I can find. Uh, let's try this one. So 67 was the first measure. Then uh, next one would be 60.7 six millimeters so that's uh the range of the width of the leaves of future midnight uh let's measure the leaf length uh it's kind of shorter compared to the other uh, cultivars of uh, the uh future group or the compact group i'm measuring 12 inches here or just more I think 13 just to be exact because I'm using the 12 inch ruler so I can back up a bit so you can see it just about 12 inches or 13 just to make sure let's use the 24 inch ruler there you go all right folks so I would say 13 to 14 inches and like uh, I always say this group will not grow over two feet um it's a bit shorter compared to the uh first episode the the one that uh, chainayan compared it with the green form which is uh, trifasciata future so
So this one's a bit shorter and uh, narrower uh, in leaf size because uh, as I recall future when I measured it it's as wide as 80 uh, millimeters compared to the 67 point something millimeters that we have uh, measured right now. So I guess we're done taking measurements. We're done uh, describing the characteristics of the specific cultivar. So folks, if you have any questions or clarifications, don't uh, hesitate to uh, write in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But for now, uh, if you like the content that I featured, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you everyone.